Magnica's roots are in networking and uh, really high speed issues that were involved at PGAs and things like that. And we have a long history with, with the broadcast industry with Simpty 2110 and MMOS. And in that world, uncompressed video, perfect timing, pixel perfect quality, no latency at all, source synchronized, right? In the pro EV market, the standards are a little looser, the requirements are a little bit more flexible because cost is an issue and also implementation ease and the realities of walking into a, a conference center where maybe you're sharing a network or maybe uh, 10 gigabit isn't available. So we kind of looked at where, where's the best place for us to start. We're not really married to one gig or 10 gig or 25 gig. We actually have products that span the range. But in this market, we wanted to start with a really high quality one gigabit solution that's subframe latency, visually lossless quality, more or less like desk, the ability to see a desktop image in perfect quality. Open standards is at the center of what we're doing. And really, if you're not interested in working with an open standard, I would suggest actually going somewhere else because uh, that's, that's the entire bet we're making. Our observation is this, that in every industry that we have seen in the past, there's been a time where things were scattered and fragmented, and then an open standard came along and the whole market just exploded with growth. The pro EV market can best be described as fragmented. We have more than five different standards, right? Not even standards, five different marketing standards, five different ways to move low latency video over IP networks right now. We need a standard and it's, we're crying out for one. So what Matnik is doing is we're making a product right now that works for ProAV as it is today. And we are working with the standards bodies to add in the things that need to be added for this market. We need to have the HDMI experience. We need flexible trade-offs when it comes to bandwidth and latency and compression and all those things. We need those things in a standard. They're not there yet, so what we're doing is we're building a product with those features in it and pushing those features back into the standard as a means to accelerate that process. And so what, we're, what we want and what our message is, come join us so that when the standard is set and you're using our products or you're using someone else's products that are built on the standard, your company is ready to go with the open standard on the day that everybody is asking for it and everybody's specifying it.